USF at Tulane. Tulane, a six and a half point favorite, total of 64 and a half on this one. Uh, this one's a noon Eastern time kick. And so we're continuing on in that time slot. Uh, I've got Tulane favored by 8.2 in this. Now, granted, South Florida has played the number two current strength of schedule, and their numbers look like this because they have played Alabama and Miami. And the final score got a little sideways in both, but they were hanging in the first half in both of those games. Byron Brown, the quarterback for South Florida, a little dinged up last week. Uh, From everything I've seen, he's going to play this week. But if he can't run as well as he has been, he uh, he has not been able to throw the ball very well. PBA margin, Tulane is number 43 despite playing uh, Kansas State and Oklahoma. And, uh, and they played on the road at Louisiana last week. That was a situational spot that was not kind to them. And yet they won and covered the ball game. South Florida is number 111 in PPA margin. Their, uh, their rushing defense is pretty good. And Tulane's not great at running the ball anyway. They're, uh, they're number 82 in PPA per rush, number 96 in rushing success rate. They are, Tulane is better at throwing the football, but they only do it 40% of the time. I, I like Mensa. I like the freshman quarterback there. Uh, I think he is. I mean, they, I think he's fantastic. Points per scoring opportunity, uh, scoring opportunities per game, etc. USF doesn't give up a lot of scoring opportunities per game, but when they do, teams always score. They are number one hundred nine in points per scoring opportunity. Now on offense, uh, South Florida is number ninety seven in points per scoring opportunity. They just cannot get into the end zone. They settle for field goals a lot. I feel like it, this is it's kind of nuts. Tulane is number 118 in havoc rate created on defense. I feel like their defensive line is better than that. Now, they have gone against some more talented offensive lines, I'll say that. Um, but this, this feels it, it should be a closer game. But the fact that this thing is under seven, uh, I found a six out there. Give me Tulane. Give me Tulane minus the six. Keeping our theme with the favorites this week. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me, Gary, at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.